What's up everybody, Gundam Flexing here. I'm going to do a quick review of the completed high grade Buster Gundam from Gundam Seed. And this is the finished product before you. I added a couple lining because um, it just made it look a little better. It made the color stand out and add a little detail to the, uh, to the arms and to the chest and to the waist as well. Before I go to the kit, I'm going to go with the completed uh, the leftovers of the kit. Um, this is one. This is a PC or excuse me, the PE panel. As you can see, I'm not really sure if there was supposed to be anything done with the B. I looked over the instructions, couldn't find anything. So I'm assuming that these are just extra pieces just for the sake of being extra. And here are the G ones. And again, I looked over the instructions, couldn't find any. So it's just good to have extras. And here is the L, right here. This was an extra. And then we have the, uh, what is this, the joint A. Um, this piece goes to the waist of the Buster Gundam so you can attach it to uh, to its stand. I'm not really going to use it. I'm probably just going to just leave it the way it is. And then finally, we have the sticker panel or the decal. Here they are. The instructions only called for two, so these are just extra ones. Not really sure where I want to place them, if at all. Uh, probably look along the internet to see some good advice. Or just keep them for another kit. But I did use two, and you'll see that in the kit. So now to the kit itself. Here it is. I love this battle pose, by the way. Holding both the cannons together. It's nice. Starting from the head, you can see that there is no faceplate like the Verd Buster gun. The head is actually quite mobile. And in the shoulders, I'm going to take them out of this battle position. Eh, eh, take the oh, I know you like the gun. Here, I'm going to take it out, which detaches from the waist. Which is great because it gives it that stability. Don't want to force it. Oh, there we go. Uh, here it is. And then the shoulder piece. We had the stickers along the bottom. I added a sticker on his top left shoulder right here. And you can also open it up. Uh oh. Busted them open. They don't really stay in that well, the uh, missile covers. So let me put that back in real quick. I really just snap it in there like this. In. There you go. I don't think I'm ever going to expose them unless if I uh, paint it. Because I think there should have been stickers on the, uh, the six little circles you see right here. I think they're very sure they're not going to do this, but yeah. And I added panel lining on the side as well, as you can see. Shoulders, again, you can see the sticker at the bottom, the gray, where my thumbs are at. And it has some flaps on the shoulders as well. It's pretty uh, immobile. The shoulders are mobile, but the flaps itself aren't. Here are the arms. The arms are the standard anatomy. You could bend been quite well. This is a pretty sturdy high grade too, especially if you compare it to something like the early uh, heavy arms. That was just very, very flimsy. Here are the arms. Here you can see that I added panel lining, added panel lining along the forearms and along the top of the hand. Here, and you can also see another sticker. Trying to get a good capture right there. Another sticker lays across the, uh, the uh, shoulder flaps. What is this? Go to the back, he has a backpack, and the back is also where you can see the waist, the uh, support, support the weapons, right here, right, no, where my, where my fingers are touching. Back of the waist, you can see where I added the panel lining, he has a skirt, which is orange, which is great color scheme so far, orange, here, and surprisingly enough, there aren't any two stickers like I originally thought there would, that would go, uh, above his waist. Thank god, because that's just sort of weird. And then we have his legs, which again are pretty sturdy. Very, very sturdy. So if you were to put him in a battle pose, he wouldn't move as much. There you go. And the feet. It's good for a base. That's what we have. Mm, trying to move back the, uh, the weapon support. So raise this. Move it back. Yeah, ooh, ooh, I thought it almost came out. There you go. I'll just put him back in the battle pose later. 
this is the finished product. His face has two stickers on his cheeks right here. So it'll match the, uh, the missile covers and parts of his waist and uh, his kneecaps, which is pretty good color scheme. Now the plastic, I just guess because it's the way of uh, the color, it makes it present it that doesn't look so much as plasticky, if that's a word. So I don't think I should add a, um, a top coat, but I did add a top coat to the Master Grade. And the only two weapon systems that he comes with are basically these two rifles, excuse me, cannons right here. There you combine them. You combine them to a super mega long long range cannon, or you could attach them to the back here to the back waists in any kind of pose you want. The little round balls at the end would connect to the weapon system to here, so it gives that solid support. So I, I can't remember if the master grade comes with the same kind of benefits, but this is extremely helpful to put. To put the ball into the hole so that way his waist could cover most of the weapons, so at least the weight of the weapons. Yeah, there we go. Again, this kit was only what, like three panels? So there are no additional pieces. So if you were lost them, sort of out of luck, and have to go back to the uh, go back to your old kits to look for some, but nah, I think I really like the color scheme like the Ver better than the Bird Buster, if I may say. And I think it deserves a special place on my desk. I just love that double cannon combined battle pose where he just holds it. Not like the background here, but like what you saw in the beginning of the video. <clears throat> Overall, pretty good, pretty good build. Short, sturdy, gives you a variety of battle poses. Simple with only two rifles. And it also has a backpack. Nice. So yeah, if you don't have one, I recommend getting it. It's okay for a beginner, especially with a limited panel, two weapons, and it gives you a great variety of battle poses too. But that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in our next video. Peace out.